Right. Um, yeah, well, you know this. Uh, and uh, for any deniers in the room, will you please get out now? <laughs> I've got any time for you. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not reading the slides right. That's the next one I was talking to. Ah. <laughs> right. this, is to this is the one where I say deniers get out of the room. Um, no, I, I don't think we really have to worry about them too much because we've got another way of looking at this and uh, that's through the, the medium of money uh, and I think actually that was just what I was going to say. Uh, do we really want to be burning a lot of money on all this energy that we're using that actually we're misusing, abusing, wasting? Uh, and my answer is no we don't. Um, I've got other ways to spend that money. Um, if can't think of anything else, just give it to charity. But there's also another problem which bothers me, that I am actually, as I said on the first slide, a bit of an energy-holic. I can't actually function really without a certain amount of energy. So the fact that they're switching half of it off in the next couple of years because it's all out of date, it's no longer uh, compliant, is a very bad idea. Now when you talk to a group of people, generally speaking, you say, do we want to use less energy? And everybody puts their hands up. I, I don't know about you guys, but I won't ask you to, we haven't got time, but... Um, it does happen that they put their hands up and then you come along and ask them, say a couple of weeks later, uh, by the way, did you do anything about it? And the answer is, oh, well, we're going to soon. No one does anything about it, they just talk. Um, so we're thinking, what do we do about this? Is there something that trumps the convenience of just carrying on as we are, using the energy that we've always used, and just paying whatever money it takes to keep it coming? Uh, and I think the answer is there probably is. So how do we go about this? We need some, we need some incentive, something that will get our attention. Um, I, I found actually in the limited experience that beer actually gets my attention. And uh, so you know, I've been doing a little experiment with, with betting uh, beer on an energy uh, saving result. And that seems to work. So it's kind of a clue. I think people like a race. They like, they like a bit of competition. And uh, so we ought to be able to do something with that fact, um, which would help us to see how we can get people saving energy. Now, it turns out that there are several people in this room were involved in this in home camp, which was where you know a lot of energy geeks got together and looked at different solutions that they could, that they could create. That was about three years ago, I think. And since then, a, a number of groups have, cro have cropped up. And in fact, um, spending the weekend, and some of you here are with the uh, open source hardware user group where we're going to be looking at other toys and gadgets and techniques. Uh, and this is good. Um, so we're getting different techniques. Um, now that the Internet of Things has become something you know, in, the, in the vocabulary, um, we've got a lot of tools and, and toys which we can use to help us with um, basically measuring. And uh, uh, Certainly, if you look now at some of the more recent groups that have started, like the, um, like the IoT London, you see this is, this is a much bigger audience now. It's, it's not just the real geeky types, it's, it's kind of anybody vaguely interested in Internet of Things, which is going to be a larger audience. Now, amongst that, most of us have got some kind of toy, like, you know, this is one of my toys, uh, of which there are many, um, for looking at the energy we're using. So we know, uh, you know, what we're doing, and, and that's good. Um, and some geezer here um, actually invented that idea, you know, about a um, hundred years ago. And um, it's true. I, I certainly found that by measuring, uh, you get a long way down the line. Uh, but it doesn't. Measuring isn't enough without motivation. Now, one of the hacks that we did, and some guys uh, in, the, in the audience were involved in this hack. Um, were to so try to turn this into a bit of a competition where we got several people saving energy and seeing what they could achieve. Uh, we did another hack, uh, a little bit broader, a little bit less automated. Um, and so, you know, it, we could see that there were, um, this was a route which we should probably pursue um, to see what could be achieved. Um, what's stopping us from going further are two things, really. The first one is we need, uh, we need more of a team. And it's not just about tech, technical team, but we need um, people to look at the, uh, you know, the more of the psychological, motivational aspects of things. Um, and we also probably need some funding if we're going to create something which, which is sustainable. It might not be very much funding, but we probably need some. So, um, what I'm hoping is if anybody here likes the idea of seeing whether we can kind of push forward with the idea of, um, of driving some uh, energy saving, uh, then they might want to
to join us in an ongoing uh, project. Um, yeah, we, uh, at this point, we haven't got any money, but uh, we, have, <laughs> we have enthusiasm and uh, we're interested in the topic. So do join us.